Uh, my name is Kimani Marlin, singer, songwriter, actor, director, um, family man, lover, warrior. <laughs> yeah. Father, Robert Nesta Marley, Mother, Anita Rose Bell Nevis. Um, you know, Father is, you know, legacy speaks for herself. And, you know, my mother is a table tennis champion of, of Jamaica. My inspiration as a child, right? So, things that inspired me, well, let's say for me, my childhood, <clears throat> um, you know, my childhood um, started on this little countryside in, in Falmouth. And, um, you know, for me, my childhood was, was mainly about football. You know, what the world calls, what the world calls football, America says soccer. But, yeah, so my childhood, my inspiration always came from, you know, the, the, the legends from back then because that's what I wanted to be as a child, you know. And the music is a thing that come you know, further on in my life, but as a youth, um, it's the great, it's the Maradona, it's the Pele, it's the, the Zico, it's the, you know, so those were my inspiration, along with, along with, you know, the, 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 the community heroes as well, you know, the community football heroes as well, and uh, we looked up to them. Um, Luckily for me, one of them was my uncle, uh, Richard Enland, who was, uh, you know, uh, one of the greats out of Jamaica. You know, as far as my journey and to my musical career, right, um, for me it was, you know, I think just like everybody else, started in the shower. I just started round the house, you know, when you get into the shower, then the big show begins, because you get the nice little reverbs in the bathroom when you're by yourself so it really started there so you know it 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 from early there was something there but i myself didn't recognize it because that wasn't what you know i inspired to be so it was just show on and then we go play some ball and <clears throat> i think you know funny enough all right so what happened was i had a friend of mine who had a sound system and one day as a youth, I go over there and him say, yo, um, cut a dub for me now. So I say, cut what kind of dub? I sing, well, me and a musician, we have to have a cut dub. He say, no man, you're a vice man, but it no matter anyway. <laughs> you need a molly, just cut a dub give me. <laughs> and I say, all right. So I start up a track and we in there, we start playing then, at the time, my next producer, um, coming out of the room, Carl Peterson, you know, and it was said that Carl Peterson also produced a few songs for my father back in the early days. And so, um, you know, he walked in at the time and he was like, um, yo, you have a, you have a nice tone, the man, you know, should I come, you know, pass through the studio and have some time, I'll make with say, I'll say, all right. And he used to go to Carl Peterson now, like when I sat there for like two hours. I start build some rhythm and we start write some song and thing and um one of the early songs, you know, I'm a release was a song named Dear Dad. So release Dear Dad and you know, still for me it's just it, it not really done for me yet, say, you know, this is it. Even though, you know, the passion and the love is there, but still it's like, alright, being that it wasn't Something that was on the forefront, cause like me say, even them, even in them time, they may have play ball every day still. You know, um, so right there, dad, and there, dad start play upon radio, and 
them time there Clinton Hill right Clinton Hill one of the first one who played there that and the reaction where we get the night you know with people calling in the reaction where we get off of the music um, you know the message which there that was a very personal message um, to me and my father but you know I've always tried the same part, you know, and so it, it, the way people took to it, you know, and, um, heartfelt, you know, we had a, a, a one call in at the time and say, you know, listening to the song, him have to pull over off the road because a ball, him start ball, I think about him father. And so in that moment, you know, it was like, okay, you know, you, 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 the message is in the music, and if you have this ability to write songs and touch people, then this must be a calling. Cause sometimes, listen, enough people calling right there, them fingertipping you know, on them, them don't get to it because they're afraid to try. You know what I mean? Fear of just because you never go into them waters, they sometimes think, say, the water's too deep for you, but from you can't swim, you can't swim. So if you can't swim in a shallow, you can't swim in a deep. So it was in that moment to know, so well, music is the journey, you know, and music without boundaries, you know what I mean? Music just off of being a free spirit, music just off of, you know, just, just, just doing what comes to you naturally without feeling any restrictions of, you know, being in this box or in this one special category or whatever you want to call it. Alright, acting for me came around just you know, the first first movie was was Shatters and Shatters was really, you know, by Cecil Vera who, you know, from them time is a friend of mine. So Shatters was really, you know, just a group of fellas getting together to to do something that we never really have the idea about. You know what I mean? We, we had the idea, but didn't really know what this would turn out into because, you know, at the time, all of us was first time actors, you know, and, and I saw acting, I think, you know, from childhood, you know, every youth have them favorite action hero who, you know, when them see them action hero, they sometimes them pretend to be that. So from, <clears throat> from them time, them. And we are echoed certain role. Have a playback role from your favorite show, you know, so well that in a you as well. Um I was just fortunate, you know, sometimes it's just right place at the right time. Right or wrong place at the wrong time or even wrong place at the right time. <laughs> but um yes, yeah, so get together with Sir Silvera and you know this Shatter's movie script and you know, first time you read it <clears throat> And then we say, yeah, this have something. And then when you get the cast together now, and you know, you bring in Spraga Benz, and you bring in Louie, and you bring in, you know, just the way everybody was just able for jealous, like, you know, that chemistry. It's that same chemistry for me, fine pump vendetta. You know, after that, I was a shoot. Next movie name, One Love. Um, which was a love story in Jamaica and beautiful movie as well, you know. And um, you know, I think it was from there, you know, I say, you know, the way the way people receive you, you know, the way people receive. So the way people receive, you know, the 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 work that I did on these two now movies, just know say was something else that I'm definitely passionate about, and it was just something, you know, it's just another journey to embark on. From that, there was something into me that wanted to take on the writing part as well, you know, so I started screenwriting. So let me tell you about Vendetta now, right? Vendetta, Necessary Badness, right? So that's the name. Vendetta started out as a music video, right? So I had this idea for a song of mine. Um, Fancy things. I'm played for only later to Sony. So, so I had this idea about this 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 video I did one shoot, and it was about you know 
It was about basically this couple is almost like a Bunny and Clyde thing, right? And so you have this couple who are them go around and rob, right? This is this is a rap from the rich gift to the poor cause. Them don't need the money, so them go around and rob and and them disperse the money, you know, them, them give it where them dash it where them whatever them do with it. But the robbery was what gave them the high to go and make love, right? So whenever they wanted to make love, them go up on a robbing spree first, <laughs> right? And so I write this script, and it's going on, and a couple of my bridges, them start shooting, you know, within it. Because the robbery scene, them, you know, it was like, for me, it was going to be like a little shot uh, mini movie, you know, music movie kind of vibe, so. I caught the rabbit and seen them on, you know, um, at the time it was me, Juliet Rigby, Cherokee, um, a few other the guys from, from Trap Hole shooting, you know, a few of us, so, so a few of the guys that came back was actually there in the, the beginning when we was making the video, so. I go home and I look over some footage and I said, Bombard. This look nice, man. We, we can't stop it, so. I have to write some more. So I'm going to go some oops and start writing some more. And I write and I write and. May I read it over now? And it starts sweet me. <laughs> right? So I said, no. Alright, here what I do. May I stop this? I may I write a script. One of them said, what? I mean, I said, yeah, man, I said something like this. Them time, yeah, uh, 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 them time, yeah, we're up on, um, we're up on lockdown. Right, nothing uh, going on. So this, it's like, was the perfect, for, it was the perfect timing for me. You know, because outside of that, we're up on tour, we're up there, so we're all over the place. I'm going to get the time for settling and, you know, be able to write out a full script. So I'm going to go some oops and start writing. And write and I write and I write and I saw me I write with someone. I saw me I cast the character them in my head because the idea too was, you know, forget people who can play close to themselves. You know, um, so me I write and me I cast and I made at the same time. And I'm going to some oops and finish right. And say, all right. Get a couple of people and them read it and and love it. And I say, all right, we have a vibes. Some of us are now boops and get the budget together and, you know, start, put the team together and call in ones and ones and, you know, we call in, you know, major hype, we bring back. You know, um, some of the legends, you know. Um, and they will bring back some of your local favorites and all, as well as some new talents. And, you know, I was able to put together a cast where, you know, this thing is like divine intervention. You know, even when, even when I reflect on it now, just, you know, just, just reflecting on it and seeing how Everything went, even the bumps in the road, which wasn't too bad, you know. It's, it was just a part of the journey. And, you know, for me, looking back at the journey, it was a very, very beautiful journey. So in that, we end up writing, put it together and start shoot. We end up um, doing some directing and some acting in it as well. So when they say wear many hats, yeah, definitely <laughs> wear many hats and wore a few and you know this particular project. But you know the thing with it is 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 that Vendetta became my baby because as as I'm writing it, I'm seeing it, right? So this is a movie that's taking place in my head, you know. And sometimes, well, for me before my writer scene, sometimes. I'm going to play that out in my head and, and, and watch it and see how I feel about it. And then I watch it and I edit it in my head and tell me, I say, yeah, I hate that. And then I go back to the pod. It was a wonderful experience. 
wonderful experience, you know, we get a nice team together, you know, um, to all my brethren them, you know, see the vision and believe and, you know, invest, you know, as well for, for make sure so everything runs smoothly and, and yeah. You know, I feel as though telling you what to expect will be a biased opinion because I'm going to tell you expect a great fucking movie, you know what I mean? Well put together, well casted, you know what I mean? Shot fucking beautiful, you know, getting into the edit, the edit nice and, you know, it, 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 look, it's like, jeez, you know what I mean? Even looking back at it now, it's like, you know, the process to where, to where it is right now and to see it just all unfold and then all come back together again, it's just, it's a beautiful thing and, you know, um, we definitely have something to be proud of, you know, um, Dream Driven and, and the rest of the gang and, you know, it, 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 it <clears throat> as far as a release date, currently I don't have a release date, but we do have interest from all over, so, you know, really right now the focus is just finishing the product and then, uh, you know, we're moving to you know, the next stage is, which is, you know, the business stage, but, you know, they're, they're, they're already there, you know, it's just to work it out, so it's just, it's a beautiful thing, man, like I said, from start to finish, you know, just from start to finish, um, just got on this journey, and I think one of the big things for me was, was, was just don't, don't settle, you know what I mean, never settle, never when I settle for it's okay, no, you know, and that was one of the things that was, for me, that was important on this project because you never want to do something and look back at it and you feel bitter because you was like, fuck, my God, I just take like five minutes and, you know, just do it all, but it really feel so it should have done instead of somebody else that tell you, yeah, man, it's good, uh, okay, it might be good for you, but. For me, you know, there was, if, if there's a feeling missing, then it was important that I, you know, I was I, I captured that. Music right now, yeah, currently working on some new music. Actually, I have, a, I have about three different albums finished, all, and, and the three different albums is in three different genres and the feel of music, you know, again. So, you know, um, I'm going to release some new music soon, and the next album is really... It's really focused, yeah, it's really focused, it's, it's more like a kind of uh, raw, but it's more focused towards a female audience, you know, along with a few, I don't know, we have a step same way, so you have to you know, put a like one, two step aside in the same way. Uh, more in a mechanics than me, overall too. Yeah man, I'm gonna do that already man, that buck. Yeah, and it's 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 a different sound, you know. And like I said for the people who know me, you know, you know, we just I love have music and a free spirit, so you know, I tend to just do whatever I feel and if it feels natural I'm gonna do it. I don't I don't force anything, so you know, whatever feels natural to me, I do it. And so, this is a different sound, it's a different feel, but it's something that I am definitely looking forward to, to, to getting to the people's ears. Huh. Name is Marijuana, yeah. We don't want to. Oh, shit, that too loud, no. The, 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 the mic. Mic too loud. Hey, 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 off your love. Love, love, baby, you do me like drugs. You do me like drugs. High off your love, baby, you do me like drugs. Do me like drugs. I'm addicted to revive I'm on every corner. Only girl to make me high, name is Mary. Also, I have a, a kind of singer-songwriter, very acoustic-driven, you know, album that we write as well, you know, can we consider like, you know, some top 40 vibes or, you know, some of them things the same way and, 
And then, of course, we have a reggae album too. So it, it, the whole of them did a sit down right now. I just wish trigger, I just wish weapon for pick up on fire. <laughs> Another project that I have, you know, that's been working on for quite a few years now is the Falmouth United Football Club program that I have in Jamaica, in Falmouth. And, you know, for me, it, it, it was really... So Falmouth is a little small town, I, I, you know, that's where I originated from. And, you know, I went back a few years, maybe about a good eight, nine years back, you know, to pay a visit and just... I never really like what I say, you know, because the football field was not being used because, you know, Bush grew up on it and, you know, I know how important it is for, you know, for youths to have an outlet, you know what I mean? Because if a youth love play football and him can't play football and him just in the street, he's going to find himself in a different thing. So, you know, my way to bridge that gap was to take on this fall much you know, football club program, which, you know, the, 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 the root of it is a football club, but we are a community organization who, you know, try to bring in learning equipment for the children, you know, books, computers, so on and so forth. Um, and the facility, we also, you know, we, 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 there's table tennis there, you know, and I'm, in the summertime, we have a boxing coach that come in so, you know, the kids them can learn boxing as well. And, you know, it was just really anything to distract them from doing, you know, things that would do them harm. And, you know, the next thing is that, you know, sometimes <clears throat> some youth have some talent in them where them themselves no know because they never really get the opportunity for, for, for for, for experience, you know, different things more than what them experience in you know, them little community. You know what I mean? So you can be growing up with the next fly me with a, you know what I mean, next to you and we don't know because he's not getting that opportunity for, for, for express himself in that way. And so for me, um, one of the big things for me was just being able to to open a door, you know what I mean? Because I think sometimes doing this, you know, some people may think, say, well, I have a bag of money to throw down so I can just go down there and do them thing. And no, this is a passion. So I work to do these things. It's what I say. Um, yeah, you, you might get some donation here and there, but it's, it's still scanty, so so being my passion and just knowing what it was like as a youth <clears throat> to want to express yourself, to want to be heard, but you know what I mean, no one not pay attention, no one not listen and you know, sometimes you say you wanna do a thing and instead I wanna inspire you, them doubts you, you know, right away. So you know, I know what that is like and so I take it on to myself that, you know, for me What's important in life is to be able to help someone move from one place to a better place, you know. Um, and someone take on that journey, you know. Um, all won't be successful, but all won't fail, you know. So it's 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 definitely worth it, you know. Um, <clears throat> so as far as my football program for me is. It's also, you know, it's, it's killing, what I'm saying, kill two birds with one stone. So my love for football is there to be the manager of this team and to, to, to be there with the youths them and to, 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 to be there as a player, you know. Me always tell my player them, say, yo, me is a player, you know, me just know. Me no player, you know, you know, can't get me in a really crunch time. <laughs> so, so, you know, for me, everywhere, you know, everywhere it goes, it's important to have that unity. It's important for me to have that, that bond, you know what I mean? So, you know, I say, you know, I'm going to really keep friends. If I can't consider you my family, then, yeah, we can't be friends. 
know what I mean? We can know you, we can be associated, but so we're supposed to have that feeling. So, you know, when you're in good energy, you can feel like this energy right here. You know, you can feel this energy, you know what I mean? You can feel that, that the oneness, and so that is important. And so some me lead, you know, I lead from the front. You know what I mean? So we make sure, say, what I want in return is what I put out, you know, that energy, you know what I mean? So I will always approach you with respect because I want respect in return, you know, and then if you decide to do something else, then me do something else. I mean, love the something else too, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, yeah, and, and that is it. That is a good question. Is there anything that, I've, that I haven't done that I would like to do? Yeah, I haven't been scuba diving. And it's something that I've always wanted to do, you know, so looking forward to getting around to that soon, you know. But yeah, scuba diving. Got to get there. My name is Kimani Marley and you can find me at Maestro Marley on IG, Kimani Marley on Facebook, yeah? And look out for my new movie coming out shortly, Vendetta, Necessary Badness. One love. I'm high. Hey. Baby, you do me like drugs. Hey, you do me like drugs. High off your love. Baby, you do me 